Yeah, well, uh, yeah, let's just get into the movie chest then. Ides of March. I think we picked, I mean, I didn't pick this one. We kind of have like a amalgamation of picks for now, how we do it. But was it the poster that, that got you guys on this one? Because I think it the poster just sells this movie, I feel like. but it, Yeah, it does. Honestly, I, I just like to put I, both put Ides of March. I was curious what like drove you guys to pick the right. George Clooney. <laughs> yeah, movie. I Googled George it. Clooney, like Ryan a Gosling. decent cast. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. let's throw it on there. I, like, was, I was like, look, after after Barbie, I was like, all right, more more Gosling. If yeah. I can if I could swing it. I was. Yeah, I was. I was surprised that it was the one. I figured yeah. there'd be more overlap with some of the the hotter. I picks, thought there would be uh, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of a wild card one, but hey, you know what? Fuck it. That's what the movie chest about. You know, I, getting yeah, Randy picks out of the way. Yeah, it's yeah, an I, interesting I pick from it. last week. I mean, you have the director or a movie that's like so perfectly constructed, and then you have this George Clooney kind of. He I'm directed not, it too, right? Like, yeah. 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 wrote the screenplay. Off the script rather than like the directing of it, so it's not really the craft of it, more so of just like being invested in the characters and the story. So, yeah. mm-hmm. I saw so. at the end it's also based on a play or something, I guess, mm-hmm. something like that. Okay. Something yeah. like that, yeah. Some type of, I think it's a stage play or something, but yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what'd you guys think? I guess first off, what'd you guys think? The, the two that picked it was it like what you wanted out of it, I guess, or what was the uh, <laughs> you're just <sort of> curious. <laughs> I'll de- I'll defer to Joe on this. I, I mean, so I guess let me just start off by saying the play or whatever this is based on. I'm kind of wondering like if it's set modern day and or if it's like set in a different time period and it was adapted to modern day. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I think like ultimately like I I thought it was fine, but I think like realistically. Uh, I, I should have known this before I picked it, but like any any movie or like any media nowadays that's going to be based on like a presidential campaign set in modern times, I feel like already is putting a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. So like, I don't know. I feel like from the get go, like I'm already kind of like not for it. Um, and also like, like George Clooney was fine, but he didn't really like, do a lot in this movie i also like just didn't really like ryan gosling in this movie Maybe i feel that me. i get you um, he kind of was like I, I trying know. hard but just never really the word yeah. constipated came to my mind when i was like watching <laughs> him fits for me somehow. i don't know why <laughs> but like yeah uh, okay and i don't know i guess like i was just questioning a lot when i was watching this movie like what's like what's the point like what are you supposed to take away from this movie that mm-hmm. i already don't yeah. know going into this movie like I, I feel like really the only thing i got after watching this movie was that like there are just like levels to politics like it added another level to politics that's just like more fucked up like the yeah. campaign process instead of like actual politics that are fucked up like it's just like how fucked up the campaign is like i don't know so i guess like it told me about that, but I didn't, I don't really care about that, to be honest. So, like, I don't know. I guess, like, <laughs> I guess what you should get out of, out of this, I, I, uh, regret this pick. That's, that's oh, well. what I'm getting to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I have pretty low expectations for this as well. And yeah, I, yeah, I couldn't, like, I couldn't tell you why it ended up out of my top three picks, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Even, yeah, there weren't, like, crazy standout performances I, I figured the commentary like the political commentary would be good but the the fucking thesis of this film is just don't fuck the interns i guess and and you'll be good i, uh, I, 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 don't know. I mean that is the thesis i would say because it's literally like the yeah. statement that's like what at the end ryan's but... character yeah 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 uh no yeah I don't know. people are shitty Especially in politics, right? <laughs> That's, I don't know. You're like, you're like getting the worst of the worst. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, this was, I yeah. thought it was a decent movie. You know, it's like well constructed. It's got like good bones in the script, I'd say. Um, just didn't really do much for me. Like I, I felt like yeah. this was the movie that least provoked me out of like all the movie chest picks we've ever done. And 
that includes like Avatar: The Last Airbender. I mean, it's like I didn't feel like I had to like write notes about this movie at all, or like I just didn't really like reflect on much as I was watching it. I guess I don't know. That was just me, yeah. but I don't know. It, yeah. I was like hoping for some some like I don't know, not like a mind blowing revelation, but like some thought provoking commentary on on like the system. I yeah. guess. which I guess it kind of is because it's like you said, Joe. It's like there's layers, and you kind of learn like. You know, people are just like they—they they have the information, and people get fucked over with information, and everyone's kind of like playing both sides or whatever. And I guess, but it's—I don't know—it like, like, was weird because it's like yeah. it's not even like politicians; it's just like the campaign managers and shit. You know, yeah. like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, shit rolls downhill. Yeah. Is that the idea? I think mean, I don't know. People have to <laughs> deal with like <laughs> the repercussions of it or something. But yeah, I, I was wondering too, did, like. Has this movie just been completely overshadowed by like House of Cards, you know? And I don't know because this one it like starts out with like a decent like satirical opening. I thought with like him at the podium, uh, basically just like talking shit as if like no one was there, you know? Like uh, it kind of like brought me to like thank you for smoking a little bit, which we watched a little bit ago. Dude, I like literally Googled, like I searched that right after I watched the beginning. Cause I'm like, is this like, I wonder if there's any connection between the two. Mm-hmm. Cause that's exactly what I thought of too. It, it seems like they were going amazing. for like a style thing like that. But then the movie kind of just like, doesn't ever really bite as much as like, thank you for smoking does. Yeah. Or it doesn't even have like a playful tone as much either. I mean, it shouldn't, but like, I don't know. It like towed the line between like entertainment and satire and never really like landed in a camp, you know, and like with like house of cards and then like veep also those took like the two basic tenets of those and like just took them to the extremes and made them the best of those ideas I'd say. And this is like almost like the precursor to that because I think it came before both. So like, I don't know. It's like, I get the idea. I get what they're going for. It just wasn't like, and it just wasn't that good. Yeah. What do you think, Alex? I liked it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think that, I mean, I see that it was nominated for an Oscar for its screenplay, and I oh. I totally get that. I think yeah. it's a very good script. It, yeah, it is. Um, yeah. It seems like one that was, like, bouncing around Hollywood, and then, like, George Clooney was yeah. the guy that was like, yeah, you know. For, it's not, like, something special to look at. It's not like George Clooney, like, was beating himself on how he's going to construct this movie. But it's, yeah. he had good bones. And he just needed the the characters to drive the story, which I think they did a fine job doing. And I mean, like we have mentioned, I mean, people are shit. Politics are shit. Once you're in the mud, you're in the mud. And the statement that Ryan Gosling says, like you guys said, the thesis statement is don't fuck. But like, ain't that some shit, right? I mean, you can do literally anything. But if you fuck the interns, you can't do that. They'll get you for that. Mm -hmm. That's just a crazy thought. And I, I mean, know, I mean the there's whole... something in there, I'd say, as, like, I don't want to say it's truth, but, like, I get what they're saying, you know, like, the yeah. the controversies, like, the personal controversies are the ones that take down politicians yeah, rather right. than, like, Absolutely, business. and that, that's, yeah. that's, like, I guess, thinking thought, and, I, you know, the dark turns that it did take, I was really necessarily expecting, and I kind of yeah. appreciated it, that it took took those turns and had the the nads to do that so i was like oh, this is good i was i was along for the journey and it was pretty well paced so i was i enjoyed it i it enjoyed myself yeah. it didn't feel like an overly long movie i'd say i guess to its yeah. credit but uh yeah to yeah i was engaged for most of it like you said the writing was good. like all the <clears throat> all the dialogue between like brian's character and like philip seymour hoffman and paul g and mahati like it was all like interesting it like really keeps you in like on on the heartbeat of like the campaign and like what's you know where kind of pieces lie and you're trying to figure out like who's got the edge and that kind of thing um so i appreciate for that because it did keep it entertaining uh Mm -hmm. but it just yeah yeah yeah, i don't know it i don't know yeah i expected to be like left with more i guess and yeah Yeah, i don't know i get that i mean i I get that well i guess like what like it was kind of i don't know meh in comparison to some of the other stuff we watched but again, I don't think it was a flashy movie. It was just like a well constructed uh, script that made it on screen, and yeah, it's just we got to watch it unfold. The boring nature of like political campaigning was completely right. reflected perfectly because it was just that boring. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <No>. yeah. <laughs> um, 
what i guess like for the ending what did you guys take from like the literal end of like ryan gosling walking up to like is he gonna like the spout media. the truth is that i mean i don't know i kind of the sense i got yeah, but, i didn't really reflect yeah. too hard on it honestly i was just like oh i didn't either it's a huge uh, I mean, huge like dolly and i was just like what, what's yeah. his face supposed to tell me i don't know but the the way i saw it was like i mean he came into this with the like he was all bright eyed and bushy tailed and he was like i support this guy you know i'm i believe he has to win because he is is the one and then when he finds out that they're all the same and everything's the same and everything's fucked and he was just like well if i'm gonna do what i want to do and climb mm. that ladder to get to my end goal i have to i guess die inside or become the hardened piece of shit that everyone else is mm -hmm. and that's that was him like kind of yeah in the end him just sorting that out in his brain to get back in the zone you know yeah, i guess yeah. i think maybe i just yeah. lost something and maybe in the performance but yeah go ahead maybe. uh just... i mean there is that part too where he's like talking to paul g Matty and uh he's just like uh you should get out while no, you like, still yeah. have a conscience you know so, right like, unless you'll turn into me basically so like yeah, mm. I don't know. Maybe that was like his. He turned into him. Well, I don't know. It'd say at the beginning yeah. he was going to try and steal him. Kind of, kind of did. Almost yeah, did. I, I guess like that transformation isn't like full to me because like at the beginning he's not the most bright eyed, bushy tailed character that I could have like. I mean, he's like yeah. innocent ish, but like he's also like, like banging had, like, the interns himself. So I'm it. like. Yeah, like that's because yeah. like he, he talks about. Uh, the governor, or I don't know, whatever his name starts with an M. I don't know. Morris. Morris. Yeah, yeah Morris. Um, the governor. He's talking about how like he wants him to actually like follow through on the things that he says and like be a good person and like you know do things that Ryan Gosling's character like believes in. Um, but like I don't really think Ryan Gosling's character is a he's a good person. So no. or at least I didn't really get it. So I mean like he's a good-ish person. He's for an helping okay out, person, uh, I'll just say that. But Evan like, Rachel Wood's I don't character, I guess. He's still banging the interns? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Like, the the um, was an interesting part of it where he was like, you mess up once in the big leagues, you're done. You know, you have to go. He screwed up. He went and talked to Paul Giamatti, you know, and he told Philip Seymour Hoffman about it. That was his screw up, but he thought he could cover his tracks enough to where it wouldn't matter. But it does. It all matters. You just have to get the upper hand before anyone else does. So it's just a matter about playing the game, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I liked that lead into the end. That like last scene where <clears throat> is it? It's Marissa Tomei, and she's like the journalist, and he's kind of mm -hmm. like, yeah. you're, my, "You're my best friend." And it's like I kind of I don't know. I like that because it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. And, I mean, it seemed yeah, like he was know, like lying and playing the game, right? I mean, that's what he was. That's what I got. That's what I moment, mean. But... Yeah, because it was like allegiances were all over the place, and like he hadn't, he didn't really know like what he could trust, and it was like, well, at least he can go on air and spout the truth if that's what it. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I guess maybe they they were trying to like leave you at a moment where it's like, what is he gonna say? Is he gonna say the truth, or is he gonna just buy in and just? You know, yeah. Yeah. It just wasn't that yeah. effective. I thought. Going off of that, do you think like George Clooney's direction was like? What do you, what did you think about it? I guess, as far as uh, his style choices or his like attempt. I mean, there wasn't too much. Like... Really stood out. To be honest. Yeah. 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 Uh, on a whole, I think though, like I said before, the movie just rests a lot on its screenplay. I think it's just really well constructed. So they kind of relied on that rather than bringing in a flashy director or someone you know who i mean george clooney's directed quite a few movies actually yeah. you know and i don't know if i've seen a lot of them but i just think this movie could be something like the script like clearly has like oof, yeah. you know it's just like if it's like if this script was put into fincher's hands like we just went through this is a different movie and it's going to be way more impactful and it's going to be definitely taken yeah. more seriously and you know um so yeah it's just like feels somewhat standard or kind of lazy to me um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't injected with much like tone or mm -hmm. style, just like in the cinematography or anything like yeah. that, or the score. You know, like there, yeah, there wasn't much that like, but yeah, it could have been punched up. Definitely could have been punched up. I I noted a lot of like standard over the shoulder shots, just like two yeah. shots, and they cut between those shots like crazy, man. And like there were some decent like wide shots that were 
like Clooney was obviously like, eh, eh, you know, like, but he only shows it for like two sides. I, I, w- I would show like half a scene with a wide shot if I was making, yeah. I don't know. It's just like, let the actors like bounce around the frame and not just like, right. Give me like, give me time to like enjoy the, the visual, you know, like, yeah, it's interesting too, really because great. like he works with the Coen brothers pretty often regularly. Do you think he'd take like, I guess some artistic, yeah. yeah stuff away from them i don't took know took all the er direction that he's yeah. <laughs> worked through he's like oh just stand yeah. over the shoulder yeah we got coverage okay cool we're, we're good we got it yeah <laughs> it's rude yeah yeah i know mean, just it was like yeah it just didn't help the scenes like develop into interesting like nuggets for me because like i was just such like standard back and forth cutting that i was like yeah should i care like you guys didn't care i don't know but <laughs> I don't you know. Guys didn't even care. I mean, it's like, and you see right. George Clooney's name at the top, and it's like it puts a level of expectation onto the movie. You know that, like, definitely, yeah. you need something more from it. But I guess Clooney's just kind of like a fifty-year-old white dude, and that's the fifty-year-old white dude making a movie. You know, so that's you know, I get it too. It's like, yeah, just kind I mean, of a plain cast dude. like that too. Maybe he was just like, well, you know, and the good script. It's like a solid script. Like, yeah, they're gonna the carry cast, it. Like that'll be do- <laughs> yeah, that'll Robin. do it. Like. I don't need yeah, a storyboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have much else to say on it, honestly. Like I said, I didn't really it didn't really like evoke a lot from me, but I watched all, yeah. I watched like six yeah. seasons of House of Cards though, and that that burnt me out. And that was a very good show too at, while I watched, but like Yeah. It just like yeah. digs in way more than this movie did. So Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, for sure. like, more more sat- satirical <laughs> things because I don't know, yeah like yeah. veep and campaign the campaign even i don't know if you've seen that the, the zach galfinakis and will ferrell i don't know they could have done so yeah like they could have just done better to pick a lane i think like go balls to the wall and like kind of make fun of it and show like how gross it is that kind of thing or take it i guess it did take a little more serious route with with uh rachel wood's character and all that but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, for some reason it just didn't impact. Didn't have the the chutzpah that I maybe wanted from it. But yeah, fair yeah. enough. I, I mean, the I guess I think it just had more to say than a lot of movies, at least nowadays, even have to say. So that's what I really appreciated about it. Hmm. It, like I said, it just was good writing. So I, I enjoyed that aspect of it, and I, thought, I was engaged I the, the entire writing. time. Right, yeah. The dialogue writing was solid, like, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, and I was curious, like, you know, when that whole, obviously, the her getting pregnant and everything, that whole thing transpired, you're just kind of curious, like, what's going to bite him in the ass? You know, is it going to be the, the fact that he took some funds out of the camp? Is he going to use that against him? Or, you know, because nothing really traces back to the governor, so how is he going to get this upper hand besides the element of fear it was just a cool little like how this kind of evolved into what it was and how ryan gosling learned to to play the game i guess the game of thrones there and obviously the girl she couldn't hang you know she got got a little worried and fucking yeah Yeah, i just like starting them uh, the starting point of those characters i think is the issue for me because like she's banging and swinging through the office and he's like come on in baby and then they're like instantly like I don't know, like it, like the sh- the shutters are fucking open, and they're like, oh, oh shit, this is what we're doing. It's like, you, yeah, you I started like, it. Like, I don't know, that's the just... way I interpreted it was more so like, it wasn't the fact that she was banging or banged the governor. I think it was the fact that he went at such a high standard that the idea of him just bringing a twenty girl, twenty year old into his room and and doing that with her and trying to, you know her asking him for money for the abortion and all this stuff i think that was more so what brought ryan gosling down not the fact that oh i'm being a 20 year old or she sleeps around the office it's oh this guy i held at such a high standard is actually it's a slime ball like the rest of them it's just like why are you holding a man to a high standard when you're not even yeah. holding yourself to that standard it's no, like i just don't like I guess that's the, the characters interesting part of it i don't know the characters it's don't fully like check out for me as like functional people or characters but that's just i don't know just doesn't seem right for me but yeah i mean that makes sense i just i mean i think a lot of people nowadays we idolize so many different people and things without actually knowing them so 
Yeah. I think that's kind of like where Ryan Gosling's character fell, where he was, he idolized this guy. He said a couple things that he really liked, and he was like, this is the one. And turns out, you know, he's a piece of shit, so. Fair enough. You've been just like everybody else. Yeah. Yep. I'd probably go three. Maybe three and a half, but it's somewhere in there for me. Yeah, I'd put three and a half. I'm at a four. Solid four. Nice range on this one. You'd love to see it. Yeah.